Greetings, welcome back to Sapporo Sea. Today, we're out with the Mavic Mini. Welcome back. Right, let's get the little bugger uncovered. This is not a proprietary case. Got this myself, this is about 20 quid. Here we are with the little Mavic Mini. Um, sure you've all seen the unboxings and stuff. Uh, I'll leave you a link to an unboxing. Uh, not done by me, but I'll leave you a link to an unboxing just in case you're absolutely fascinated by what's in the box. Here is the controller. We've got your little pegs there. Take those out and screw those onto the top, like so. Not quite handy today, hide away in there. Stops them getting smacked around in the case. No USB port on this uh, connector, like the, the Mavic Air and the Mavic Pro. There's no proper full-size USB port so the side port is all you've got for your connection and now here is the little bugger herself teeny tiny little thing uh, won't look like this for long I've got some skins to go on here in a few days but uh, we're gonna do some basic runs with the Mavic as she is so teeny tiny little thing 249 grams actually feels kind of feels a little bit heavier than 249 grams but I've checked it it isn't so if we'll fold, we'll fold out the arms, rear arms uh, come out second, fold the front arms forward, and then the rear arms actually flip down, just like a full-size DJI, rather than folding out, they fold down. So there is your drone. Let's take that little cover off the front as well, so we can expose the camera. There we go. So you've got charging port and micro SD at the back there. And that's your little battery door that's where your battery sits underneath at the back here we've got your sonar and your optical flow sensors and of course at the front your three axis gimbal now these ports at the top here look like obstacle avoidance there isn't any obstacle avoidance at all on the mavic mini so you will have to watch out for trees and buildings there's your smart battery light to tell you how much charge you've got in your battery this is obviously fully charged We've got very little wind here today, a uh, bit damp, so air pressure is sort of heavy, but probably expecting a reasonable length of flight. I'm not going to give you a full 30 minutes because that would be, be boring, but we'll, we'll do some uh, tests with the quick shot functions and fly around, see if we can get some footage, see if we can chase one of the other drones that we've got out here today as well. Also out today, we've got the C5 Faith. Amongst other things, we've got the Xeno Pro with us, we've got a Femi with us, uh, all sorts of stuff. We've got three Inspire Ones and a, a Matisse. No, no, we haven't got those at all. But um, if we did, we, there's a big river behind us for throwing in. Okay, so we're going to set up the drone. We're going to first turn on the drone. So we're going to double tap the button and wait till the lights flock out four. And put that down flat. Okay, there she goes. Then we're going to turn on the transmitter. Again, a double tap. And I'm going to start some screen recording. We are connecting to the drone. You can see that. At the moment, no GPS, it's still searching for GPS. Right, so as you can hopefully see on there, oh, I'm just pressing, what am I pressing that for? That's power. Hopefully you can see on there, we're all ready to go. This app is a lot cleaner than the standard DJI app. Um, that's presumably... Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. That's presumably just to make sure that um, beginner drone pilots and things don't have too much detail to worry about. So let's get a bit of a walk round. You can see just how stable she is. Not recording on the drone just yet. Now there's about three mile an hour winds here today. So very, very mild for once. And as you can see, she is just sitting there above the pad. Very, very stably indeed. So let's switch over to the drone camera. You 
pan her up. Okay. So we're recording on the drone. Hopefully you can hear me. What we're going to do is turn around and we're going to try out some of these quick shots. Not sure quite what we're going to have yet. So if we um, stop recording and we select that button there, the camera button, gives you photo, gives you photo, video and quick shot, which is the bottom option. So that gives you droney, rocket, circle, uh, droney 25 meters. Yeah, let's give it a, a, a droney 25 meters. Three, two, one. Here we go. And there she goes. She's moving away. I've only set her for 25 meters. And then hopefully she'll return once she's done the 25. I'm not sure entirely whether she will. Try and get the gimbal up. And here she comes. She's coming back in. That other drone you can hear up there is the C5 Faith. And here she comes, back to her position. And it stops it on the screen. That's really nice. So we'll see if we can get her to do an orbit. I'm not sure what the radius of the orbit is going to be, but we'll find out. Um, circle. Start. Lock onto me. Start. Now she's going to circle. What's the stuff, John? That's quite a large circle. <laughs> but she's doing it really quite well. Hopefully that's recording as well. I'm guessing it's recording itself. And here she comes. So it's, it's able to do orbits at a quite low, low distance. And again, she comes back to the start and stops herself and stops the recording. That's excellent. So as you can see, quite a tiny little thing, very, very stable indeed. So let's give her a bit of a chase. We'll see if we can follow the John C. Fly Faith and uh, see if we can get some footage of her. And then I'll just run this lovely little drone along the river and we'll see if we can get some footage, maybe even send her out for a, a, a little bit of a range test. Let's see what we can get.
Here comes the mini. Just gonna, I'm not actually going to let it land on the pad because we've got other drones, but I am going to see just how close to the pad she gets. Probably not very far, fingers crossed. I don't think there's any option for precision landing on this one. Yeah, that's pretty terrible. Well done, DJI, and that's fucking fantastic. Three foot off the, off the center of a massive pad. So you can see just how, how large, if I put my foot on the pad, that's how fucking huge the pad is. And the DJI just missed it. So, um, yeah, not particularly accurate on the old return to home. Well, hopefully uh, you got something out of that. It's, it's, a, it's a fun little thing to fly, but it's so small that, that the range, the visual range is pretty low. Um, if you're looking at sort of three or 400 meters and it's because it's gray, it just blends into the sky. So it's a little bit harder to see at range, um, but wow, the camera is very, very nice indeed. And it all, it's so far it's recorded every bit of video for it straight to the uh, to the SD card with absolutely no problems whatsoever. I'm running the SanDisk card, but it's only a class 10 U1, not a U3, because it's only recorded in 2.7, not 4K. So that's absolutely uh, plenty for um, for recording in 2.7K or 1080 1080p. Yeah, it's a nice little drone. It's not as fantastic as they make it out to be. Um, as a non DJI fanboy, I, I find it. It's a really nice drone. It doesn't fly quite like the, the larger Mavics. It sort of drifts its back end out a bit when it um, in the turns. It, it, it sort of drifts rather than flies quite as precisely. But that's not a bad thing. That's actually quite good fun to, to throw it around. Uh, join us next time. We'll, we'll test out sport mode and we'll probably do a, a bit of cinematic mode. It's got a real slow cinematic mode. So we'll probably test that out. But we'll definitely do a sports fly uh, on the next run. So thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you later.